Okay, hi Scorpio, welcome to the tarot. I hope you're doing very well. This is gonna be a free general reading for my Scorpio babes. If you ever need a personal reading, my information is always in the description box below, as well as my PayPal and Cash App links. So, extremely spiritual week incoming. I had a feeling it was gonna head that way, but it's just like a lot of confirmation. Dead in the middle, you have psychic, gamble, evil eye, third eye awakening, ascension, your ancestors are now around you and involved, but up top we have Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius. Aquarius popping out a lot right now, which tells me that you're in like a star energy. Um, getting back to positivity. Wow. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, anyway, getting back to positivity, stepping away from things that you can't it's, it's too much darkness, it's too much hidden, so on and so forth, so like closing out a chapter that is keeping you in, a, in negativity and darkness when you want to be in positivity and light. Um, then, like I said, psychic, clairvoyance, images. To go from the unseen to psychic, your vision's completely fucking cleared up now. You see clearly, uh, you know, Uranus could have been having you in like some kind of, you know, haze, fog up in the clouds, but no, not anymore. Not now. Um, it feels like you're very, very tired of people watching people be stupid, watching people choose their own karma. So it feels like, um, I don't, I mean, you're open to hearing people when they are getting what they have received and they will always tell you about it because it, it played a role on you, you know what I mean? Um, Anyway, whatever someone has done to you, it, it's coming back to them because they put it out. They played the game, they're getting the prize. Um, so you're open to hearing these people out, but there's like a heavy emphasis on not trusting and protecting yourself and your space, your, your energy. Um, there's like a, a repetitive show on and it just feels like you're so fucking tired of watching it. Relations, friends, community, renewal, the unseen, twice. Transformation, revolution, change, progress, electricity, space, science fiction, radio frequency, and occult. Some of y'all could like really benefit from hanging out with other Aquarius or other Scorpios right now. Um, Leo, Saturn, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, heavy on the Capricorn. Um, soul journey, projection, gossip, beams of ascension, and Taurus. So there's heavy Capricorn and heavy Taurus out here. Oh, well, we have Virgo as well. So a lot of earth and cycles between you and earth sign. Now, because you're water, you're nurturing for earth. You're, you know, what happens to the ground when water falls on it? It, it nurtures it, it, it promotes growth, it promotes new cycles, it promotes newness. It's nurturing for earth. But it's almost like earth doesn't appreciate water until it has become a fucking desert and is dying, you know? So something about that. Repetitive cycles with earth signs. Up in the corner we have experiments, coins, abundance, do not trust Jupiter Sagittarius. I'm going to use both of these. See what both of them say. Expansion, luck, wisdom, healing, influence, wealth, law, religion, higher education, big business, international travel. So someone having to learn, being sat down and having to learn what happens when you want to act like a serpent and keep fucking secrets. Go for it. Let's see how that turns out for you. Heavy Taurus again, <clears throat> um, beauty, love, luxury, desire, devotion, mystery, reception, relaxation, money, value, charisma, charm, experience, harmony, sentiments, value, grace, charm again, taste, pleasure, artistic inclinations, and happiness. Um, so somebody, it looks like someone's losing the very thing that makes them the happiest. Um because they choose something that's repetitive, because it says upkeep, like routine. 
Mm-mm-mm. No wonder you're tired of watching it. Somebody worries way too much about what people say and think. Like, but at the same time, the people that they should worry about what they would say or think or feel, they don't worry about that enough. So very conflicting energy here. And for you to have very decisive, like seeing, 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 yeah, new home, new attitude, like cleaning up, cleaning up. This is not... <laughs> We have the rose romances in the air. <clears throat> Diamond and purse. Okay. We have the rainbow. The most difficult part of the situation is over. Purse says pay attention to your finances, and then Diamond says you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And then Dark Man, someone is stubborn and unwilling to change. But that's the thing is like, <clears throat> someone could be, someone could deal with a lot of depression, but they choose the same old, same old, they, like, they don't grow, and then they wonder why they feel so stagnant and choose the same depression over and over again. Um... But with you, it's like you're seeing your worth, you're paying attention to your worth, and other energies that may come around, <clears throat> they may not know how to treat a diamond like a diamond, but this, and, and then they could choose, stubborn, they choose to be ignorant, you know? But it's like you're seeing, like, just because this person chooses to ignore a diamond doesn't mean that doesn't make the diamond any less of a diamond it makes them look like a fool who doesn't know how to treat a diamond when they have access to it okay so dealing to a relationship so there's a masculine energy uh, maybe coming in having something to say misunderstanding the wall so you have your blocks up towards this person right now, or these people right now. Boat, <clears throat> damn, wall and the boat. Yeah, you feel like this person is constantly missing the boat. They miss the bus all the time. They choose to just stand there and bye, let it go. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Danger, and then got the nerve to act like they're the ones who are mad and sad, but they chose to be mad and sad. Okay. It's coming in, the rose and the rainbow. Greed, I'm telling you. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming for sure. Kite, vacation. Yeah, some of y'all need to get out. Go have fun. Involvement with the law. So that's two times now that Someone could um, end up, I don't know, facing charges, getting in some kind, or this is karma, you know, universal wall, um, because of whatever they've done to you. I don't think that you can even, like, see it, like, in your face, though some of you might. Uh, not smart. It's coming in.
flag do not be tempted to lower your standards i was just telling you guys that in the oracles for the rest of this summer scorpio do not lower the bar you set the bar there for a reason i don't think you have unrealistic expectations you know what you want you know how to get there do not be tempted to lower the bar why is taurus here it's coming in Marriage, I'm telling you, like, you know what you want, you know how to get it, you know how to get there, so, yeah, you, you're, no, you're not interested in meaningless anything right now. Pineapple, reconciliation. Some of y'all need to protect yourself on vacation, protect your purse or something like that. Okay, overall energy. I don't think that was supposed to, but hey, it is what it is. Seahorse family matters. News is on the way. Fox shrewdness and resourcefulness, in, especially in business, but the fox and the snake. Ugh, oh, you need to watch the fuck out. Dragon, beware of self delusion. Don't be falling for people who like, for what they could be. Karma. Damn. And teardrop in the reverse. Someone that you have dealt with because of what they put out onto you, they're getting it back. If someone had you, you know, crying one night, it, it's their turn. Now it's your turn, babe, to cry. Na, 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 na. Who is that? Oh, that's like the only Journey song that I like. Journey. Um, so you might look that song up. Um, Journey. What the f is the name of that song? It won't be long till you're alone and you're something. Touch and squeeze on another. <laughs> this is stupid. 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 You are highly thought of. Now it's your turn, babe, to cry. Na, 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 na. Great happiness. What is the name of that song? Y'all drop it in the comments below. I know y'all know. Um, okay. I'm squeezing another. I don't know, but I know it's by Journey because I usually hate Journey, but that one song, that one song, I, I love it because it's karma. The whole song is about karma. He's talking about how like you and I were touching and squeezing each other and then you chose to go touching and squeezing another and now that person's going to go touching and squeezing another and then it's your turn. Every way you made me feel, well, look at you now. Na 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 na. <laughs> Somebody could be really fucking childish. Here you go. We got date. Courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup. It's coming in for Scorpio. Ah. Anxiety, stress, depression, panic attacks, and restlessness. <clears throat> Till you're alone. Okay. Third party interference, cheating, competition, mistress. Um, what goes around comes around, baby. Damn. <laughs> mm. It's coming in. Magnetic attraction, alluring lust, irresistible flirting. Um, 
unfinished business with breakup. But that's what I'm saying, Scorpio. Like, stop letting people come back to you when they chose their karma and then karma blows up in their fucking face. Deal with it. Regret. Fear. Spirit. It's because they know you're fucking awake. Alright, so a lot of people could be showing up from your past as well. you have told the game to, you've, you've taught them the game, you told them that you don't play this game, it's reckless, irresponsible, and you always end up in depression and regret, and then they chose to play the game anyway, and now they're, they got something to tell you. I played that game you told me not to play, and it ended the way you told me it would end, but like, you want to have some fun? No. Nope, sure don't. <laughs> but you got a lot of fun coming your way. You might want to buckle up. Gross. It's like somebody has no... Ugh. You could have thought that someone, you know, like, had, like, maturity, intelligent, intelligence, class, morals, wake up call. They don't, you do, they don't. Someone, something could have to do with someone's home as well. I'm telling you, some, somebody goes after easy, karmic, perhaps like financial, like greed, gluttony. Come on, Scorpio, come in, Scorpio. Got the Six of Pentacles. Damn, the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant, like, yeah, Scorpio, you're being protected, I don't think you realize how much you're being protected, your stability is being protected, like, you don't deserve what's going on, so, yeah, like, So you're being shielded from a lot. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Reverse, Gross, Eight of Pentacles, Repetitive, Blind. Mm -mm. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Ugh. Yeah, you had a lot of hope. You had a lot of hope in someone. Ten of Cups. A lot of love. You had a lot of love and a lot of hope in someone, but... Damn. Hope, I'm telling you. 
stay upright, Scorpio. Whatever you're searching for, whatever you're looking for, it, it's you're gonna get that regardless. Regardless of if it's with that person or not. Then you got a Taurus in your energy. <laughs> Learning hard fucking lessons right now. They are also wrapped up with someone that craves attention from outside parties. Looks like there's two people here that were craving attention. So they got attention from someone else, some outside. But that, that person craves attention from outside people. Yuck. <laughs> Yeah, you're worth too much, okay? You're, you're too worth. <sighs> Six of Pentacles. High Priestess, yeah, you know. Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God! Wait. Perfect. Chariot and the Knight of Cups reverse. Someone could have been like emotionally and fucking manipulative as fuck. Learn lesson learned and forward movement. Someone has something to say. I feel like you're gonna be like, look, speak the fucking truth or deal with your fucking towers and your karma by your damn self. Scorpio, you better start demanding clarity and honesty. Like, you can have all the hope, love, positivity, stability in the world, but if somebody else lacks it, you're gonna be carrying the load your damn self. Fuck that. Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, the moon. Ten of Cups. The Emperor. So you focus in on family and happiness as well. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Damn, Ace of Wands, Tower, and Death. Don't be letting that, don't be letting your lust rule you. Um, yeah, you could be telling quite a few people no. No. Oh, they're mad. So they so they look at somebody else. Let me go get attention from somebody else instead of putting in the work where I should have. Oh, I'm getting karma. Now they're looking at somebody else too. Oh, now I'm burdened. Oh, yeah, I'm dealing with karma. But I'm going to hold this back. I'm not going to tell. I'm going to be manipulative because I feel bitter and sad that I left me out in the cold because I was just playing the same stupid games. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> On repeat, man. Yeah, somebody could be fucking with a, a hot headed, hot tempered little fire sign that has a lot of love for other people as well. Yeah. Queen of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, they are single as a fucking dollar bill. Whoever they're fucking with, they... <laughs> there ain't no love here. There's no loyalty. There's no, like, real connection. Oh, gross. Ten of Pentacles. 
All right, the star. Ooh, somebody could like go out, like party a lot, and that's all they care about. They're there to party. They're not there for love. It's coming out the star. Yuck. And this is how some gross shit. Damn, look at those ace of pentacles, ace of wands. There's temperance. You being protected while you're returning to your little hopeful, innocent, happy place. It's like you're like, yeah, you're not too naive for real relationships and real love. You just are too naive for snakes. You know what I mean? Like, what are you supposed to do with a fucking snake? Somebody could have invited this right into their home. Stupid ass. There's a card missing out of this deck. It's probably for the best, but... Eight of Swords is trapped, stuck in a mental prison, in a, in a place where they're very fucking unhappy, and possibly gonna be dealing with some actual prison or legal issues as well. Man. All right, what's the overall outcome for Scorpio coming in? And we're gonna use a different deck and get a better vibe off this shit. Man, that's why the devil's, you know, attracted to you, the star and temperance. Who the fuck does that anyway? Chooses to go up against someone that is angelic, works with angels on the daily. People that think that they're bigger than karma. People that think that they can play with karma. The devil went up against God. That's why he got cast out. Two of Cups coming in. The seahorse could be dealing with another water sign. Five of Swords wanting to pop out and the Three of Cups. I'm telling you, now somebody's bored, unsatisfied, unhappy with whatever they chose to go toward. That's not your fault. It's coming in for Scorpio. The High Priestess, yeah. Good for you. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. And that's the thing too, like, some people don't want the Ace of Pentacles. Some people aren't ready for like once in a lifetime. They're ready for average, karmic, a two year cycle, a breakup, and then maybe I'll be ready. But like, no, Scorpio, you've already graduated this class. You're ready for your once in a lifetime. And that's exactly what you're getting. That's exactly what you're gonna get. You know what you want, you know how to get there. But High Priestess and Justice, damn. Mm -mm -mm. And karma for you is gonna be who you end up with. Somebody, oh, yuck, could be a nasty, um, toxic, toxic Leo, fire sign. Ugh, no thank you. Ego, I tell you. Talk about 
about pride. You thought whoever you were dealing with had a fucking ego, pride, devil energy, whoever they're... <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Seven of Wands is the first thing to come out. Six of Pentacles again. Damn what goes around comes around in the exact way. Hierophant. Just like Aries Taurus uh, in your energy, really learning about what, oh, really learning life lessons. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. <sighs> Ten of Cups. of pentacles will you have something really good coming something like real and solid and happy and hopeful and it produces what's the star the two of cups some of y'all could be coming together with an Aquarius, Sagittarius. Yeah, you need a fucking change. You need a change. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yeah, Three of Cups. I can't show this card, but... It's coming in with the bull and the chariot. Seven of swords. No. No. No, thank you. It, what's crazy and stupid is this person does not stop thinking about you. There's that strength card, I'm telling you. Somebody, somebody, oh God. I would not want to deal with that. Eight of Swords and the Moon, the Lovers. You've also seen people firsthand get in relationships and be stuck in a dynamic and be thinking about you. You're not about to entertain some stupid shit like that. Nope. All right. The Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Knight of Cups. Temperance and the Two of Cups. The Eight of Wands. You're about to have like a bunch of communication, um, action coming towards you. Somebody's stuck in heartbreak for moving too fast. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Energy, you already know what's up. 
Yeah, so you left them in the dust for making stupid ass fucking decisions and not making the right decisions. Playing with karma, juggling people, knowing damn well, like, ugh. Alright, what's the overall outcome? Two of Cups, the High Priestess, and Justice, though, like, good for you. This is exactly what you deserve when you stay on the good side of karma. You kept your values, you kept your dignity, you didn't move in no shady ass, shysty ass, STD ass way. Good for you. Two of Cups. Hanged man. I'm telling you, son. <laughs> oh, stupid. Stupid moves. High priestess. Knight of Wands. What's this justice coming through? Damn, justice and karma right on top of each other. The Nine of Wands. Mm hmm. But with the Queen of Wands, I'm telling you everything they have done to you. That's crazy. The Moon and the Tower. Justice. <laughs> so, heavy Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Someone is. For the fucking streets, so stop letting them have access to you. It's crazy. Some somebody like wants to be like you and resents you at the same fucking time. <laughs> Ring around the motherfucking rosy. Yeah, it's Scorpio, you're getting off. You're getting off the fucking merry-go-round. Okay, let's see. Damn, Earth and Earth Keeper. Some of y'all pulling back from Earth Sign energy. <sighs> I'm tired of nurturing an ungrateful Earth, that's for sure. And then some of y'all are coming together with an Earth Sign. Beloved. It's coming in for Scorpio. I feel like somebody wastes time. I feel like a habitual time waster. Yeah, being protected. It's coming in for Scorpio. People from the past maybe showing up. Mm -hmm. And the rainmaker. So 
some of y'all could be dealing with another water sign or someone that is generous, loving, nurturing, probably makes a lot of money. The witness, the rattle, the spiral, block that. Corn, abundance, the sun, happiness, and beauty way. Damn, that's that's amazing, honestly. That's a lot of happiness and abundance and clarity and joy. Positivity. Yeah. Advice for the beloved. Sacred reverence, so a lot of love here. Like it's almost it's like now, yeah, the power of purpose, feeling the world. It's like now that you have um, rediscovered your worth, now that you've been reminded of what you don't want, keep an open mind. The hunter. The Uncharted Sea and the Hunter, so like a brand new journey, a brand new chapter, Divine Matrix, so like, it's not up to you. Yeah, a spirit of gratitude and wish upon a star, what you're wanting, definitely coming in. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with an Aquarius coming up, maybe? There's like a divine, and and you remaining grateful for what you get, like that's why you will be blessed, yeah, like beyond 111, yeah, remain grateful. The Rainmaker. Some people, man, they won't learn gratitude until it's too late. Yeah. Seeing beyond your, your huge awakening here. Eleven. And bearing fruit, I'm telling you. You're being aligned for something so much better than whatever that was. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for this one. Get ready for a super powerful, spiritual, kind of chaotic awakening week. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.